What the fuck is up? Higher point of view here. It is your West Coast Packer backer. Here to discuss Packers Family Night. Yeah, goddammit, we talking about Family Night. Family Night? We talking about Family Night? Basically, y'all, uh, it's 5.30 Central Time. It is basically a, a glorified practice, you know, but every, not every, but a lot of fans pretty much, it's the past few years has been filled to capacity. So everybody's going to show up, but it's just a, basically a glorified practice that the fans get to watch in mini game, I would say, you know, it's a mini game. They, they, lately they've been basing it around like a, a game, like as far as quarters and shit, but you know, it's a glorified practice. That's when you see the video clips of Aaron Rodgers throwing 60 yard bombs to the corner of an end zone, either to a trash can or to the, the net that they use. Like, and that shit is just amazing. Like there, there are certain times in games where I'll be like, man, that motherfucker was lucky. Like he, he, hey, he zipped it right by the, the linebacker's ear. Hey, the corner almost, his fingertips almost touched the ball. Like, and he could have picked it off, but Aaron puts it in the right spot. And those drills show you that's how he does it. Some plays, especially like Kansas City a couple years ago, Jamal Williams caught that catch in the corner. I'm like, nah, that shit was lucky. You know, that probably was. But like for him to continuously throw the ball from like 60 yards to the net like that in the corner, just in one spot, bro, that that's just amazing. So that shows you all those passes in the corner that he be doing, the Jordy Nelsons, the, the Greg Jennings, you know, even the back shoulder catches like that shit is through repetition, man. Like that, that the guy is great, you guys. What, what the fuck more you want me to say? Aaron Rodgers is the fucking greatest. So, so I'm just talk about what the fuck I'm looking for in family night this year around. We're gonna go from the greatest quarterback that I'm just talking about to his backup. The number one thing, I just want to see Jordan Love do something, and I just want him to be consistent, okay? Again, I said in my last video, one day, oh, Jordan Love's on fire. Next day, he throws an ugly pick. Next day, he throws a high pass that would have been caught if, it, if he didn't throw it so high. Like, I'm tired of the inconsistency, but... uh. Again, we gonna get on Jordan Love at some other time. Y'all know how I get down. I'ma holla at the little nigga, man. Hopefully he listens. But, uh, you know, I just want to see him do something and do it consistent. Even in family night. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't want to see him just... I don't want to see no fucking interceptions, Jordan. I don't give a fuck what the circumstance, bro. It's family night. Again, it's a glorified practice. You should be able to handle this without any fucking hiccups, okay? And it, even, like, you know... I've seen flashes, Jordan, you know, you had us in scoring position a few times in that Kansas City game, you know, we just couldn't close the deal, but again, I'm gonna holler at you, dog. Another thing I'm looking at, what I've been talking about this whole time is the O-line shuffle, man, so, and family night, and again, they do not broadcast this shit, only in Green Bay they do, but goddamn, Green Bay media, if it's one thing I can say about my team, I love the Packers, you know I'm gonna be as positive as possible, but... Green Bay media could get a little better on the way they push the team on the on the social networks. You got to go to other Packer outlets that ain't even related to re the real Packers pushing their media out. Goddamn, how the Pack Attack handle your media? Shout out to the whole Pack Attack too. Have us handle your media. That shit would be motherfucking bussing. It sure would. We had that shit. Hey, every week we have some creative shit out. All the fucking, hey, my commentary, TR's commentary, Adam's commentary, hey, Nate making fucking videos and shit, like cartoon videos and shit, bro. Hey, holla at us, Packers. Come on now. But let's continue on the family night. The O-line shuffle, y'all. Once we do get some film on this, because, you know, we're going to end up being able to watch it at some point, because somebody's going to be recording this shit, and we're going to see some highlights from it. I just want to see who's starting in the O-line shuffle, man. Who they, you know, this is not going to be who's starting week one, but this is going to be an idea of who they want to put out there. Like, who's going to start when the ones are against the ones or however they do it? Yeah, that's how they do it. When the ones are against the ones, who y'all going to have starting at that O-line? You know, that's what I'm really looking to see. Runyon's been solid. Even Myers. Myers is going to be there. He's been solid. But, again, we got to, hey, he got to stay healthy for me to, you know, Again, we're going to get to him, too. Y'all know how I get out. Y'all know why I'm going to talk to these people.
at some point, you know, before the season. So, uh, yeah, the O-line shuffle. I want to see what the fuck is going on with that. Uh, obviously, the wide receivers. I'm not sure if the hammy's going to be out there. You know, I'm not sure who they're going to put out there. I'm not sure if, you know, Lazar going to be out there. I don't know if they're going to treat this year. You know, I don't know. You know how conservative Packers are with injuries and just everything. So I don't know who's going to be out there on the offense. I mean, I'm sure the 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 ones who we think are going to be the ones are going to be out there for at least a, you know, a few plays. But I'm not sure. They might be holding them back due to injuries. I don't know how good the hammy is, you know. I don't know if that bitch tight right now or he got to put some ice on it before and he could do it. I don't know how it's looking, you know. And that's one of the most trickiest uh injuries in sports. There's really no timetable for that shit. You could say a few weeks, but you know, it's a, you know, it's a real tricky thing. In my small little career, the only time I did miss a game was due to a hammy. Nigga, I didn't have my hand crushed. I didn't have all kind of shit happen to me. And my first game I missed was due to a hamstring. That bitch, that shit tighten up on your ass, boy. You, hey, Y'all know, whoever dealt with a hamstring problem, the real pool one and all that, y'all know. You walking like you got something in your motherfucking pants, bro. Just, you don't even want to feel the pain. I don't care, nigga. I was walking around <laughs> looking like I had a, you, anyway, I ain't trying to talk about nobody. Anyway, but uh, the most important thing, even more important than all this to me in, in, in Packers Family Night is the second unit. That's what I'm looking forward to. Again, these are the guys that's going to come in and make plays that, you know, unexpectedly, that they unexpectedly make. Because, you know, there's going to be a time where a Sewell might get tired, need a breather, just got a long pass thrown on him. He did defend it. He may have landed wrong. He just needs a couple plays off. That's going to happen. It might be a time where Rashawn or injury break or anything just goes out for a few plays, bro. Those are critical plays where people know, just like, hey, like Tom Brady. I think he's going to try to pick on Quay because he knows he's a rookie and, and Quay going to be tearing shit up the few games before we played him. So he's going to try to pick on him because he's a vet and all that. But like, even Peyton Manning, there was a story Pat McAfee told that like, hey, one time a corner who wasn't even on a on a, a game plan, like as far as us to look out for him, he had to come in for an injury play or something. As soon as Peyton seen that number that he, wasn't rec that he didn't recognize in the scouting report, he started picking on him because he know he is like the third or fourth corner. So in this family night, I want to see guys again, like Kbion Ento, Rico Gafford, them kind of guys making plays. I want to see a fucking Cole Van Laden in there holding it down on the offensive line. Like, because that's important too. Even if Cole Van Laden doesn't start, you know, he plays left and right tackle. It looks like they might have time there. Even if Cole Van Laden doesn't start, bro. Again, you know how much this offensive line was shuffled last year. That motherfucker might be a starter for two or three games. You never know. A motherfucker might twist an ankle. That's why we need to roll deep in the offensive line, and we might carry a, a few more than expected until David and Elton come back. And, and, you know, we don't know when David comes back. Hopefully it is week one. The way it's set up, the way they set it up, it's looking like David will be there week one. But they already covered their ass by basically saying he ain't going to be there. Because all last year, it seemed like they was like, oh, he's on his way, he's on his way, he's almost there. And then the motherfucker never came. So now, hopefully this time, they say he ain't coming and the motherfucker just show up. But we don't know. But if so, we have to be prepared, y'all. So we might keep a Cole Van Landon on the roster just because he's, he's versatile. You know, he could play the left or right tackle spot, bro. Zach Tom might go down. You know, it doesn't, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. I'm not hoping for injuries or nothing like that, but... I'm just waiting to see second unit guys make plays. Shamar John Charles, you know, make a play. The third running back, whoever that's going to be. The great Patrick Taylor. The Goodson kid. Or uh, Kylan Hill if he's back in time. I don't think he's going to make family night. So we're going to be looking at Goodson and Patrick Taylor. So, you know, Jawan Winfrey. Like, bro, can you continue on? Can you can you continue, bro? Aaron the name dropped you. He don't do that to everybody, bro. He name dropped you, bro. Take advantage of that shit. Make the fucking roster this year. Do I think you will? It's tight, bro. I don't think so. It's tight, bro. Especially depending on what Christian looking like. But again, you might motherfucking make it, bro. And you already have somewhat kind of chemistry with Rodgers. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about on family night. Just to recap, you know, you, you might see Aaron Rodgers throwing some shit in, in the corner and being impressive. He likes to do shit like that. I really need to see Jordan Love just just do just be consistent and be good. No no bullshit plays on this one. It's it's a glorified practice. This ain't even preseason where dudes' jobs is on the line. You know this is like a glorified practice. The crowd gets to see. I don't want to see any interceptions, Jordan. You cannot do that, bro. 
you can't do that going into this year, bro. You just got to continue to get better. The wide receivers, again, who they going to put where, you know, how much, you know, I don't, I doubt Cobb plays, so we might be seeing a lot of, you know, Amari Rodgers, you know. So, again, we'll see. Packers, uh, family night again tonight, 530 Central Time. So be on the lookout for it. Be on the lookout for highlights. And maybe a day later or two, we'll be able to watch this shit and see what the fuck is really going on. But, again, this is just the next step. This ain't even kind of preseason. I don't even think this is going to be as intense as when the Saints come to town. So we just happy that football's back. We going little by little. But, you know, this is not the end all and be all of nothing. The end all and be all of motherfucking is motherfucking week one until we make the playoffs. But, like, we need to start off strong. And then another thing, you know, we all love football and say, man, we can't wait for football to come. It's coming. Hey, listen, I'm OK with waiting a little longer because we're going to need some work, y'all, you know. Again, we're going to have a Zach Tom or a Sean Ryan or or a Royce Newman starting against Minnesota against their style D-line. Like, there's shit we got to figure out, you know. I'm sure the game plan is going to be better. But, uh, yeah, that's family night. I'm out. I holla at y'all.